on health. That's the goal today which we have been celebrating at the Mittur village. And with me is the CEO of Bioagile Therapeutics, uh, Divya. Hi Divya, how are you? Hi, hi, I'm good. How are so, you? I'm doing great. So, uh, Divya, I hope uh, you were uh, you thoroughly enjoyed the celebrations. So, what are your thoughts on the One Health program and if you could throw some light on the program? I think One Health is a very great program launched by the central government where it has been following in by many villages and good it has been implemented in Mittur village also. So many people in village, they are not aware of the diseases caused by animals to humans and also the relationship between humans, animals and also the environment. So many zoonatic diseases diseases like the Nipah which, which had come, Covid which had come, actually source of all these viruses was the animals, it spread through bat. Likewise, there are so many diseases spread through rats, even for the dogs. So, so many people in the villages are not aware what kind of diseases, what are the symptoms, what is the precaution or the vaccines available for them to take the precaution because so many have pets at home, may it be cow, may it be dog, they are not aware of the diseases which they can get and also what are the positive benefits which they can get from the animals. So, this One Health initiative really celebrates the what are the how to prevent these diseases for these animals and how human can be safe and also make the animals life safer. This initiative should be taken throughout still more in an aggressive way so people are aware of the fact of the diseases caused by them and also how friendly you can be to the environment, how you can protect the environment, how you can protect the, our mother nature and also keep it in coordination with the human life. So, One Health program today we celebrated at the Mittu village. So many things, even the kids, uh, the students which were not aware, we brought into their notice. There was a veterinary doctor also who witnessed this event and we had Dr. Mittu and we had our entrepreneurs from IB iBiome gave them awareness about this One Health program and the importance of One Health program. Right, wonderful. That was like in one uh, big paragraph, she explained everything whatever happened at uh, the One Health celebrations. Yeah. So, um, Divya ma'am, if you could uh, tell us more about your company, Bioagile Therapeutics yeah. and what you guys are doing uh, in the biotech sector, if you could share some more insights on that. Yes, very happy to do that. We are basically a clinical research company. We do take up end-to-end -end clinical study, let it be any product, be it a vaccine, a pharmaceutical drug, a nutraceutical, even a medical device, cosmetics, every product has to be tested for safety and efficacy. That's what we do. Biogel started uh, six years before in 2016 and it's 2020 now. We are doing good and we have been working with clients with India, US, Europe and Southeast Asian countries and we are planning to scale up and we have already scaled up to pharmacovigilance as well. This is what we do in Biogel. Wonderful. So, I'm sure you are creating a lot of employment sure, for the sure. uh, people and at the same time contributing a lot to the sure. biotech sector. Sure. So, at this juncture, I would like to know when COVID came. Mm -hmm. So, how did it impact you and your business and um, in a positive or negative way and mm -hmm. how, what steps you took to, you know, grow your business in that period? So, when COVID came, there was a lot of problems in uh, for us, we do clinical research. Basically, our work goes on in a hospital. Hospital was, was like a haunted site during yeah. COVID time because nobody wants to go to the hospital because there are uh, COVID infection cases there and so many people who had other disease also avoided hospital and hospital also cut down so many other services. Uh, but our primary work was in hospital. We had certain clinical studies products which were actually for the COVID uh, related things. For example, a COVID vaccine, mm -hmm. uh, immunity improving product, all these clinical studies we somehow tried to manage with the limited manpower. And we also created our own COVID RNA isolation testing kit wow. that was launched by our chief minister of Karnataka at that time. Uh, Edurapa ji. So, this was one thing and we are also doing some medical supplies for the hospital. So, we are doing so many things to the COVID. Right. COVID was bad but business wise for the for the healthcare segment, it did help for many of the companies and in fact, the life science industry helped to fight oh, against the, the COVID. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And like COVID was of course, uh, 
result of not following the one health program which we definitely, have celebrating definitely, today. Definitely, definitely. Right. Mm -hmm. So Divya ma'am, that was really wonderful interacting with you and you've shared a lot of insights. Mm -hmm. One last question, which you, what you would like to share to the youngsters of today who are in the life science sector, how should they uh, mm -hmm. plan and grow their career if you could throw some light on that? Yes, I think the youngsters nowadays, they don't have a proper vision of what they do. And first of all, they are not aware of their strength and weakness. What I I tell the youngsters is please understand what is your strength and weakness if you have chosen life science as a as your career just check are you a good person at r d are you a marketing person who you can sell life science services are you good at medical writing who can write scientific literature writing protocol writing uh, clinical research report writing identify your skills and then move ahead with the career don't just move ahead with your career just because someone has done something and don't copy that i think that's very important so that's a complete SWOT analysis you should do yes, before you yes, yes. get started. Thank you so much for thank your you, time and you so in, in valuable insights. Mm -hmm. I look forward to catching you up sometime later again. Sure, thank sure, you so sure. Much. Thank, thank you so you. much.